The start of Liverpool FC's new partnership deal with Subway was marked last week with a Q&A session between two red stars and local youngsters at the Anfield Sports and Community Centre. What is your celebration? Where did you get it from? Uh, my apartment. Um, with my cousin is just chilling out and then we ended up, you know, dancing and I started doing that and then it just kind of went from there. Do you feel nervous when you play on field and you hear the cough booming? Uh, no, I don't think we're nervous. We're more excited, to be honest. Yeah, we're more excited just to go out and play then. Give us a lift to do. What made you do the pool? It was just easy. I don't know. It wasn't like kind of decision that you think about it, it just happens and it when when someone comes in like Liverpool it's it's I don't know what it was like what was it like for you? For me it felt like once they came in I was just like yes. Yeah to think about. Same. Couldn't wait to get there. What's it like playing with Suarez? Um well for me he makes me look good so I just give it, I just <laughs> give him the ball and then he goes and scores and makes me look alright so yeah he's he's amazing to train with and, and play with as well. Same. <laughs> Do you know when he's in training, the scale will still go in the way he does for everything? Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. And tackles as well, both. <laughs> both. Is Gerard a good captain? Yeah, I personally think so, and I'm sure Dan will, will say the same. For me, he's probably one of the best captains I've certainly worked with. Um, and he's a great leader on and off the pitch. Someone that you can go to if you if you need help and, and talk to him, he'll be there for you. So he's been brilliant for me. We're using a huddle at the end of the city game. I wasn't in there. Obviously, I you was, got sent off uh, and I was injured. I was in the so we both didn't get. Yeah, that was the wrong question to ask. That really. was the worst question you could have asked. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, we were probably both crying for all I remember. I can't remember what happened, but for sure, we, we were upset at that point. But yeah, obviously, we was in the change rooms and the boys came and everyone was happy. But I think I just I, I walked in at that point and, and Dan was sitting there and he just looked at us going, what were you doing? Because he was doing watching that. Seriously, the what were you thinking? Was there? Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was down in the dumps, and I was obviously devilled because I'd done my hamstring as well. So it was like, but at the same time, when you're playing, even when you win games. When you have little things like that, there's a feeling of, yes, we won. But on a personal level, it's like, ah. Oh. I'm injured for him. It was like, oh man, I'm going to miss the next three games. What car have you got? Okay. I've got a uh, Porsche. And what you got? A Range Rover. Barcelona offered you 50 million. Now would you take it? <laughs> what are we talking? They offered me personally 50 million? No. Or you? No, let's join them. Hell no. No way. No way. Would you ever play for Everton? You asking me that? Yeah. No. Both no, no. Why? Why? I think everybody can see how well he's done. Obviously, since he came to the club, I think um, what he's done for the team has been unbelievable. Um, and I think he's, he's a real good man manager off the, off the field as well. Obviously, what people don't see, um, I think he'll talk to the players and he'll get the best out of them. So. For me, and I'm sure for Dan as well, he's been he's been out, outstanding, really. Who's a better club to work for, Liverpool or Chelsea? <laughs> That's easy, like Liverpool by by a long by a mile for me, but on a personal level. But again, everyone's got different opinions in terms of what suits them best for me. Liverpool's better for me. The entertaining session came to an end with Henderson and Sturridge giving their best piece of advice to any aspiring young footballers. I would say probably, I've said it before, to, the main thing is for me is to enjoy it when you're young. Just playing with your friends um, and just enjoy it, play with a smile on your face as much as you can. Because um, there'll come a time where you, you might not be able to just play for, with your friends, maybe at school or something, you might be in academies that, that might not let you play school football and you'll miss it so make the most of it. Yeah, I agree. I'd probably say as well that um, 
you shouldn't worry about or stress about, you know, about football. You should worry about, there's nothing to worry about in life. At a young age, you should, it's all about enjoyment, as, as Jordan said.